1701 Timberlake Drive in Fairfield, Iowa. Uh, this is a beautiful 2004 built uh, single family residential home in one of the most exclusive and sought after neighborhoods in Fairfield, Iowa. And uh, details can be found on the Century 21 website, listing number 14353. The finished square feet, 3,782, and as you can see, this is a beautiful location, very quiet, and there is a lake, which is part of the subdivision. The home is on a total of five acres, which again is very unusual for a, a house in town here. And all of the homes in this subdivision and Timberlake estates are large single family homes, well spaced apart. Concrete driveway leads up to a three car garage. Nice, generous front yard, easily maintained. The road itself is concrete. And as I said before, the nearest neighbors are quite a long way away. This beautiful home is listed with Century 21 Hayes Heartland, 60 North Main, Fairfield, Iowa. Our phone number is 641-472-2109. My name is Andrew Edlin, E-D-L-I-N. I am the listing agent, and my direct number is 641 919-4663. Uh, this house is available on the Fairfield MLS and uh, you can view it by arrangement with Century 21, myself, any of our agents or any of the other agents in the MLS. Here is the south elevation of the house with the uh, triple garage and uh, the side door which leads, in, leads into the laundry. Being on the edge of Fairfield, you really are in the most beautiful, quiet country location, completely surrounded by trees on a five acre lot. And uh, as we come into sight of the house, you'll see the newly built deck on the back. Really a lovely spot. Lovely location for grilling, barbecue, just being outside. One of the beautiful things about this house is of course being uh, six years old uh, it really doesn't need anything. The roof is in great shape, all the mechanicals are, uh, it's just ready to just come in with your suitcase, hang up your clothes. And now we're going to go in the front door. Standing with my back to the front door you get a view immediately into the living room with the fireplace and out to the back porch which leads onto the deck we were just looking at. Uh, the living room we'll look at in more detail in a moment. And here off to the right we have the uh, dining room and then through to the kitchen. On our left hand as we move around you're looking into an office. And the office could easily be another bedroom, it has full closet and leads through to a bathroom. We're looking from the living room through to the uh, eat-in kitchen and we'll have a look at the kitchen in a bit more detail. And this really is a very magnificent living room and you can see if we focus up the uh, 11 foot ceilings, tray ceilings, very beautiful architectural feature. And of course we also have extremely nice uh, cortisol oak floor. The kitchen has oak cabinets, granite countertops and top of the line equipment and appliances of all kinds. And you have a breakfast bar as well as an uh, eat-in area to the kitchen which is of course in addition to the formal dining room. So here's another view of the living room and uh, just to get you some idea here on our right 
is the porch. We'll have another closer look to that, and that goes outside to that new deck. And then down there on the right is the master bedroom suite. And ahead of us, going back towards that uh, little hallway towards the front door, is the office and a bathroom. And here again is the kitchen, and you can just see the door through to the formal dining room. This corridor uh, leads out to the door right next to the entrance to the garage, which we saw before, and to the laundry. Here is the laundry with top-of-the-line machines and the entrance to the garage. It's a very expansive three-car garage with plenty of room for storage. And it's fully insulated. The southeast corner of the house, we have a suite of two bedrooms with nice closets, big rooms, and uh, between them, shared is a very nice uh, full bathroom. Here is the second of the two bedrooms. Here is the enclosed porch with a very nice tile floor, and uh, those double doors are going out to the deck, which we saw from the outside. Nice expansive outside view. Uh, looking to the far distance from this covered porch. Here is the master bedroom. This is an extensive uh, suite which goes into um, a bathroom and storage uh, facilities, closets. You have twin sinks and then a nice tub, separate stool room double size walk-in shower and two separate closet rooms. Before we go downstairs to the basement uh, lower level we're just going to have another look at this wonderful kitchen and uh, it really is quite sumptuous with a lot of storage and beautiful appliances. There are two rec rooms at this lower level. This is the first, and then there is the big uh, major um, theatre room. Coming off this first and the smaller of the uh, two rec rooms, there is a bedroom and a full bathroom with shower. and the rec room has a full egress window. We're looking from the back of the theatre room, which is really the most magnificent room with a full-size 52-inch uh, screen and uh, theatre seating. All of this equipment and all of the plasma TVs on the walls are reserved, uh, but they are negotiable. All of this equipment and all the electronic and audio equipment in the house. So here, as the movie plays, you can see the specially designed seating in the theatre room. The entire foundation is poured concrete and at the time of making uh, this little film we've had a lot of rain and it's dry as a bone. Uh, you have a, a double hot water heater, you have a, a gas forced air, Lennox furnace and uh, a large breaker box at the far end. Any amount of storage you could wish for in this room which is really large. And there is another uh, room here that stores the electrical systems for the entertainment audio video in the house and an unfinished room that could be finished easily for any purpose that uh, an owner liked. The house is exceptionally well insulated with an average gas and electric bill of $227 a month which is not much at all for a house with 3,782 square feet. Um, everything is finished to the highest quality and the house has a tax assessed value of $435,900 and a list price of $444,000. Thank you for your attention. And again, you can call the listing agent, myself, Andrew Edlin, 641-919-4663.